Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jax on the channel of the Jackster, and today we're going to look at a sugarcane farm. Uh, similar to the one I got in the background, but I've made a few changes. So if you like this, like these colors and design, stick around and I'll, we'll get started with the video. Okay, first thing we want to do is make sure you have the, these items. And you should see the, the number of items that we need on each for each item. Uh, I am in creative, so I'm just going to be able to use them, but you should be see on the on screen. You can take a snapshot up, grab those items, or if you want to build it in creative too, you can follow along with me. Okay. First thing we're going to do is take our our waxed uh, oxidized copper. You don't have to use that, but that's going to be the block of choice for me for this build. And I'm in a chunk, and sometimes since we're going to use a minecart, it's best if you uh, make sure you build it in a chunk area. Okay. And uh, the reason for that is because, let's go out here real quick, uh, the minecarts can disappear. If you're playing single player, it's probably not too big a deal, but we're just gonna have uh, 10 blocks here. So we're gonna have two on each side. And then we're gonna come over here and dig out behind or under these blocks. We don't need to dig out underneath this one. So let's place that block back because we only need to come out eight total. And then we're going to come down one more here. And actually, we can come out two over here. And then we're going to go down three total. Uh, this will be three also. Three also here. And then uh, we're going to come down one more here. So we're down two. And this is where our minecart's going to be. And we'll in the middle of this, it don't have to be exact. We're going to come over here. And we're going to dig down one more and we're going to take our block or one block of redstone place there. We're going to next we'll take our chest and we're going to place these. We can dig this out so we can get down to it easier too. And build two there and then we're going to take and use our two hoppers. And face into the chest just like that. Uh, next thing, I'm going to use this block here. You could use any block you wanted. And then we're going to take our powered rails and place those down. If you didn't know, you could look at a block that's right there where it's going to be placed, and it will place it down just like that. Because sometimes they're hard to place on hoppers. You have to do a shift and get them in there. Okay, so that gets us uh, to this point. Next, we're going to take, we're going to put dirt, or you could use... Uh, grass or you could use sand or you could use uh, gravel to place the uh, sugar cane on top of we're going to leave this spot out right here and this is where we're going to put our minecart we could actually go ahead and place it down and that way you can see it working we're going to leave this block open okay and we'll put glass over it so which which we can go ahead and do and that way we can check our minecart when we log back in or if we go check or whatever make sure it's still working so we want to come over one, dig this one out, and you see this is where our water is going to flow. So we'll place our bucket of water down, and then replace our dirt or grass right there. And now we should be able to have uh, place our sugar cane down because the sugar cane has to have the, the water, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and do that, our sugar cane, so we can start growing. The next thing we want to do is to grab our pistons. They're going to be the first layer here. And with every sugar cane, so we'll have eight total. Next, we'll grab our observer out. And we're going to come around here. And the weird thing also I'll mention right now is that uh, this is uh, pretty much lossless sugar cane farm when we get done with it. So I'm going to take my block of choice again. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it's solid and you can place redstone on it. Then we'll take our redstone dust, which we have eight of. And place those down and then we're going to come over and build up a uh, ring around the observers and pistons and everything right here again you could use any block you wanted I'm just doing this because I think it looks good uh, the next thing you want to do is let's put in some lights I'm going to use these verdant frog lights because it matches so we'll come over to the third one, and then we'll come over from the third one here. And then we have two blocks on each side. Uh, I just like having a light in here and make sure you don't have anything spawn. I mean, normally you shouldn't, but with Minecraft updates, you never know, right? So we'll come up here, go up three, 
and we'll come across. We'll cover this up also. And come across. And again, one more time. Technically, your farm is done. This is all you got to do. Uh, just let it set and you're good to go. You can come over once while again, like I said, and make sure that your minecart is still running. But that's it, guys. It's a pretty simple farm, right? Right around five minutes, less than six minutes, we have a farm. Of course, you do need to, uh, to gather all the resources to do that. So, you know, it may take you a little longer. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. So let me know down in the comments if you liked the video or not. All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye.